Hi, it's Jenny O'Leary here. Um, since the beginning of lockdown, I've been recording um, my walks and uh, right at the beginning, of course, we were able to go out in a car um, and then obviously we couldn't. So I was just relying on walks to take lots of photographs uh, of where I was going locally. And as the weeks have gone on and we've actually been able to go out in the car again, I've been taking more photographs of the local area and recording what I've seen then in, in sketchbooks and a small format really on paper and in sketchbooks. Um, I usually work in batik, which is hot wax resist. So I have used some resist in some of these pieces, um, but a lot of it is really just playing with ideas and again, just recording, getting my thoughts and feelings down onto paper about where I am. Um, and then I intend to develop some of these later into larger batiks using hot wax. So I've been working in a very small sketchbook through the, this lockdown period. This is an A5 sketchbook. Um, I'll just flick through this, I won't show you every page. But, um, and this has been using a variety of materials such as inks, water soluble pens, different forms of wax resist, um, oil pastels, and also doing some monoprinting um, onto tissue paper. And a lot of this has been quite local to me and recording the changing in season. So I'm actually starting at the back of my most recent pieces. I've also been doing, as you can see here, well, it might not be obvious, um, but this is some blind drawing where I'm looking at photographs and videos I've taken um, and looking at the page rather than the actual, sorry, not looking at the page, looking at the image and drawing and then working into those. So sometimes drawing with wax resist, sometimes with pen, sometimes with ink, sometimes with pastel. Some of these are monoprints onto tissue paper or paper that I've then worked into with inks. I look quite small scale and I've quite enjoyed this, the, the change of scale for me. Um, it's been quite interesting and got through lots of ideas more quickly. As in the back garden. Uh, some of these are on tea bags as well, which I quite like to work on. Just working on different surfaces, different papers and um, adding notes and thoughts into the sketchbooks as well. So the book doesn't want to cooperate here. Um, some larger work in books as well. At the beginning, of when we were able to go out. And this was when I went to Church Castle, just before they closed it down. So this is working on old music paper, using inks and drawing into it with pens. I also worked on the back of that one as well. So this is, uh, Again, more music pages and again some small sketches again from photographs that I took when I was up at Church Castle and the trees and the landscape. So this was early on, um, end of March, beginning of April. Um, also uh, this is working onto handmade paper again with inks and uh, water soluble pens and this is the landscape up in Clansillin um, when we could drive into Wales. <laughs> of course we can't now. Uh, some more pieces from the local area, uh, paintings again from the local area, all working from photographs and videos that I take and then bring them back and work from them. It's easier because time was limited when we were out as well, it was just easier to come back and then do that work. So this is tea bags onto handmade paper, again using different sorts of inks. I like inks because they're very translucent and lovely to work on and build up layers and more um, landscape, more views from my walks and my drives. Here using some oil pastel as a resist and views across to the Welsh Hills. And again from my walks, oil pastel again, capturing the hawthorn hedges. And here I did some blind drawing onto paper and then went over my drawn lines with machine stitch. And then I've worked into it with inks and the same on this one. So blind drawing and then going over it with machine stitch. Fold out book here um, on handmade paper, again of my walk. I became, beget, became a bit obsessed with this walk. And that's that sketchbook. And then here I have a series of larger uh, monoprints that I did onto tissue paper. I've just clipped them all together in here at the moment. And this was quite interesting, getting different effects with the, the monoprints onto the tissue and then working into those with inks. And the random marks I quite enjoyed 
because I wasn't know didn't know necessarily what I was going to get. I was on different tissue papers, and I also use um, bleach or Milton to take colour out of the tissue as well, which just gives very interesting effects. See, it's all again in my lane, they're all falling off the table. <laughs> Some larger pieces here and another sketchbook. I've been working from um, a studio space I've made in my home to work on um, at the moment, um, so that's another reason for working quite small. These are uh, landscapes again onto tea bags and more again with inks. Tea bags are quite a nice surface and gives a, a tinted surface to work on, which is quite interesting. Um, good way of using up the tea bags that you bought and didn't like. So a series of small landscapes again on tea bags, again based on my photographs into the Welsh and photographs set in the Welsh Hills. And these are two small zigzag books with little tea bags on them and then little pen drawings of trees and the landscape. I also went into stitch and onto fabric. So these, uh, I haven't decided what I'm going to how I'm going to what I'm going to do to finish these yet. But these are different sorts of fabric, um, machine stitched, painted with inks as well. Quite like the backs as well. So I'm uh, debating what I'm going to do with them. And again, more machine stitch, more inks. Um, quite like the back one of that one particularly. On this one onto layers of fabric, onto muslin and some old fabrics. And again, the back's quite interesting. So it's made me rethink what I'm going to do with them and how I'm going to present them. And onto a heavier weight fabric here with ink and stitch. Um, and lastly, uh, a drawing or drawings or using graphite of the view where I've been walking daily down the lane. Um, Operate. and just sketches of the trees as they're changing it's been really interesting doing these walks and seeing the change in landscape over that period of time um, so there we go that's it I hope you enjoyed looking at that and uh, I'll post more when I move on to the petites <laughs>